This is the Remarkable, an e-ink tablet that feels just like paper. But unlike a regular notepad, flipping through the pages is slow and tedious. It's just not a great place to store a journal. This is Obsidian, and it's a great place to store a journal. Its linking and tag functions makes it effortless to map out your mood, productivity and everything else you might want to optimize or track. And it's free. Okay, you don't need a Remarkable, so why bother with the extra step? Well, the Remarkable is not a few clicks away from a world of distractions. And also, a glaring screen right before bedtime makes it so much harder to fall asleep. Right in my hand automatically just makes you think while you write. And of course, you can use a regular notepad or some other e-ink tablet, but this video is going to focus on the Remarkable. Now. What journal in the first place? There are so many benefits. Reduce stress, fight depression, gain self-confidence, and at least one study also claims it can boost your immune system. For me, it's about clearing my mind. Too often, I'm stuck in repeat, replaying a scenario or an imagined scenario over and over again. Writing things down not only gives insight but also closure and a journal so I can look back and reassure myself that yes, I have actually experienced some things in my life. Different types of journals use different types of writing prompts. A nice thing about the Remarkable is its ability to use custom templates with personalized writing prompts. This is the template I use now and you can download it for free in the link below. I don't think Remarkable really wants us to install custom templates. So I use Inkpad's template installer. It's a third party software and only cost 19 bucks. Well worth it in my opinion. Once installed, you need to find your IP address and password. It's found under settings, help, copyright and licenses. Then you just drag in the template pages into Inkpad's. One by one. And to finish the installation, restart your Remarkable. Remember to store your templates somewhere you'll remember. Remarkable updates delete your custom templates. I know, it's stupid. Okay, then create a new notebook, call it Journal. and choose the template we just imported. If you want to use a template with more than one page, just do a little scribble, then create a new page and set up your second page template. And the way you reset this template is to use the erase all function on all of your pages. When your journal entry is done, convert it to text and send it to your email. And yes, you need a Connect subscription to use that functionality. Let's go through a few things before we get into it. Obsidian saves your files locally on your computer in Markdown, meaning you can open them in any basic text editor. In theory, future proof. However, you can still sync them over several devices by storing your files in, for example, a Dropbox or an iCloud folder. Obsidian also has its own paid service called Obsidian Sync. I've used iCloud to sync over my iPhone, MacBook Air and Surface Go for the last six months without any problems. If you want to access your vault on your phone, you need to use either Obsidian Sync or iCloud. I have two vaults. One for my Zettelkasten and one for my journal. In fact, it's for my morning pages, but more on that later. Some people prefer to have everything in one vault, so all their ideas and thoughts are together. Whatever you choose, it's easy to change later. The folders and notes in Obsidian are folders and notes on your computer. Moving them between vaults is as easy as moving your files from one folder to another. Okay. Let's create that vault. First, click Create New Vault. 
and then name your vault. Let's call it journal. And then pick a location. So as mentioned, I have my vaults in the iCloud in a folder named Obsidian. So let's choose this folder. Open. Okay, and create. And turn on live preview. The first thing we're gonna do is make three folders. So the first one is 2022 or the year you're watching this. The next one is the month we're in. And the last one is called templates. And then we move the month folder inside of the year folder. Okay. Now it's on to make the template. Right click on templates and select new notes. And we'll call this daily journal template. Use hashtag and a space between the first word to create a heading. One hashtag is header one, two hashtags header two, and so on. Uh, but we want header one now. So in Obsidian, you can automate a lot of stuff. So for my headline, I want it to automatically create the date the note is made. So this will automatically add the date, month, and year when you create the notes. You'll see later. So let's get everything else in here. On the top of my remarkable template, I have mood. And I like my mood to be tagged. So to make a tag in Obsidian, you use hashtag and no space. So for example, hashtag happy. Okay, so I'll just prepare this hashtag for the mood. Then I'll enter the remaining headlines from the remarkable template. Perfect. Obsidian's got a lot of fun tricks up its sleeve. Let's use one of them to automate the note creating process. Click on the gear symbol down in the corner. Go to core plugins. And just scroll down. And we need to activate the template to be able to use it. So we'll activate that. Then we need to show Obsidian where our templates are located. So we scroll down here, go to templates. Then we choose template folder location, click it and press templates. So now Obsidian knows where our templates are located. So let's go back to core plugins, scroll down. We also want to use something called a daily note. So let's activate it. And then on plugin options, we'll click daily notes. The daily notes will be our journal entries. And for every journal entry, we want to use the template we just made. On template file location, we'll choose the journal template. And then to automate even further, we'll activate open daily note on startup. What this means is that every time you open Obsidian, it will create a note with your template. But there's one last thing I want to do. Since it's February, my journal entries are going to go into the February folder. So let's choose this. So now, every time we open Obsidian, it will create a new note inside of the February file location. And here you can change the name of the daily note. Now the name is the date you create the note, which is perfect for our journal. On the left hand side, we now have a couple of new buttons. Open daily note and insert template. So we're ready to make our first entry. Click open today's daily note. And as you can see, it was created where it's supposed to be in the February month. And it also automatically created our day, month and day. Happy Valentine's Day, I guess. But let's say you're entering an old entry that the entry you've written wasn't actually on Valentine's Day. It was on 8th of February. That's fine. Then we can just edit to 8th up here. And then to 8th up here. And that's it. Okay, so we're ready to import the journal entry we wrote on the Remarkable. So let's paste that entry. You know what I just realized? This template has bullet points. And I kind of wanted to have a bullet point prepared in my template. So let's fix that. My template is still here. So I'll just click it. Click where I want it, which is here. Line space. And that's it. The next time I use this template, that bullet point will be there. So if you want to change anything in your template, that's how you do it. Okay, so back to the entry. And I'll create that bullet point here as well. 
So then it's just to insert the text where it belongs. In my remarkable template, I write my mood in one word. And today, this mood was hopeful. Let's copy that up here under mood. So now this is a tag. And I'll come back to that in a second. First, I'll just insert everything where it belongs. So I can remove my date since my date is already up there. This is where the Obsidian fun starts. Link and tag the things you want to track. So, as mentioned, I have tagged my mood. And I've also linked my morning routine. I actually just used bracket inside of Remarkable. However, this is kind of a trap. Because you, are, you need to use double brackets. If not, when you're in read mode, it doesn't work as intended. So, let's add two more brackets by just highlighting and pressing left bracket. Perfect. So now if you go into read mode, it's purple. Okay, what does this mean? Well, I can command click this morning routine and it will create a new page. Cool. I have a separate page for morning routine where I log which morning routine I'm using. Sometimes I change it up, so it's interesting to see how my mood is affected and which routine I actually managed to follow through it. So let's write down the morning routine. So something like this. If you want to see which pages you've linked to this morning routine page, click backlinks in the bottom right corner. You can also link to other journal entries. So reading your journal can become kinda like reading Wikipedia. A wiki about you. You can command click tags to see every page where you've used that tag. In this case, every day I felt hopeful. So let's go back here. You can also tag directly in Remarkable by just writing hashtag like I've done here on the workout. But let's see, I kind of want this perfect day to be a tag as well. So I'll press hashtag. But yeah, then I can't have a space, so I'll just do this. This way I can track what constitutes a perfect day and hopefully have more of them. Okay, and one more thing. The new note we made, morning routine, uh, is just placed directly into the vault like this. And I kind of want to have a folder for all those pages. So let's create a new folder and call it resources. Then I'll just drag it in there. But I don't want to do this every time. So let's go into settings. And then files and links, you can see here default location for new notes. And I want that to be in the folder specified below. And then choose my resources folder. So let's see here. Maybe I want to create a page for fake journal. So I'll do that. And I want to make a page for it. So command click. And this is my fake journal page. And this now sits right in here, in resources. Oh, maybe I want to... Since it wasn't capitalized in the text, I get this message when I try to change it. So do you want to update the internal links that link to this file? And um, yeah, I do. So let's see what happens. I'll take just once for this time. Then I'll go back to my journal entry, and now this is capitalized. So let's say I make a bigger edit. So I'll command click to get in here, and then I'll change this to something completely different, like honest journal. Press enter, and then I get this again. So I'll press just once, and if I go in here now, well I write, wrote a honest journal. So then I guess I'll do this, an honest journal. So changes you make are done everywhere, if you choose to. Oh, and by the way, I want to add a photo to this entry as well. And I want everything to be in my resources folder. So let's set it up. Settings, files and links. Then we scroll down to default location for new attachments. I choose in the folder specified below. Scroll down and resources. Good. 
So now it's just a matter of dragging and dropping. So let's do that. And I want it here. Perfect. And as you can see, that file is now in resources. But this was not uh, air fried rice. It was air fried chicken, so let's do to make air fried chicken. Sure. Okay. So that's a quick introduction to journaling in Obsidian. This can seem a bit underwhelming with only one journal entry. But if you stick with it for a couple of weeks, and especially a couple of months, it gets really interesting. You will learn a lot about yourself. So, which one is better? Well, they do different things. Obsidian is better when it comes to linking ideas and thoughts, and even days together. You can say it's more about growth. So if you want your journal to be a place where you write about and elaborate thoughts and concepts, Obsidian is your choice. Day 1 is more visual and you can import a lot of stuff to your entries from other apps and services. Day 1 also makes it easy to look back at your life with a calendar view and by showing you past entries from earlier years. In general, Day 1 is the better choice for the classical about the day journal and saving those precious memories. I use both. My about the day journal is in Day 1. My main goal for this journal is for it to be interesting and entertaining. I want it to be a place to look back at my life and smile. So yeah, light and fun. Obsidian is for my morning pages. And I write them first thing in the morning. Here I write the stuff that's going on in my head. It's not always light and fun. And it's meant for my eyes only. It's a place to vent and figure out why I'm feeling what I'm feeling and how I can do something about it. I find it very useful. And if you want to know more about morning pages, make sure to check out my next video. And whatever software or method you choose, have fun with the journal. Future you will be grateful.